everyone, and welcome to Grandstand Sports Data, your go-to channel for sports, statistics, and unbiased handicapping. In today's video, we're going to give you the Colorado Avalanche versus the Winnipeg Jets opening round preview. We're going to go over the fundamental analysis, the technical analysis, and then finally, the betting analysis. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first, and in every, uh, every one of our uh, matchup videos, we're going to show you the fundamental matchup between the coaches in this series. You're going to have Jared Bednar. He's a little bit of a better coach when it comes to the playoffs, having 61% win percentage, where Rick Bonus has about is about 500 coach in the playoffs. Remember, that factor is in blue, so it's not the most important factor when it comes to playoff success. We will move on to player quality. And Corsi 4 percentage happens to be labeled in orange. This means that it's an above average factor. It's something that we have to look out for. And Colorado has a slight edge in that department. You have McCarr, obviously 62.6. And you have guys like Ranton and McKinnon who are in the 63s in terms of their Corsi 4 percentage. This is overwhelming when it comes to comparing them to the Winnipeg Jets, where their best is Kyle Connor at 56.1. It looks like throughout this series, the team that's going to have most of the puck control is going to be the Colorado Avalanche. Now, we will move on to plus minus. Plus minus is an average factor when factoring in playoff success. You're going to see the Colorado Avalanche have the advantage there with being a plus 10, whereas the Winnipeg Jets have a minus 4 when you label all these players here. Some of the better players when you're talking about uh, the Winnipeg Jets would be DeMello, him having a plus 6 in playoff success. But now, if you look on the other side, it's just overwhelming, right? You're going to have Ranton and McKinnon. McCarr, Taves, these guys, obviously, playoff success, been to the Stanley Cup, won the Stanley Cup. They have more of the experience. Teams like this also can get knocked off in the world of hockey, correct? But just showing the analysis and what usually happens, especially in Corsi 4 percentage, that usually gives you a good indicator who's going to control the puck, who's going to get the win. Now moving down to the goalies, and everybody will say, oh, you know, a hard goalie can win the cup, a hard goalie can do this, a hard goalie can do that. Yes, but on a series-to-series -series basis, it's only in green, and green means below average, slightly below average factor when factoring in who's going to win that series. Well, when we look at the advantage here, it looks like there's going to be an, air, an advantage for Hellebuck slightly when you're talking about goal saved above average, but when you're talking about quality start percentage in the playoffs, only Connor Hellebuck only gives you about a 50% chance of giving you a quality start in the playoffs. Whereas Alexander Georgiev is actually giving you 57%. You might have thought that Hellebuck, probably labeled the best goaltender in the world right now, would have that. But it looks like Georgiev, when it comes to playoffs, when it comes to nut cutting time, has a slightly above better goal uh, quality start percentage than Hellebuck. So if you're going to give me the edge here in fundamental analysis, it's going to be the Colorado Avalanche. Now let's move on to the technical analysis. And we love to look at the factors that are huge at telling who's going to win the series. This would be even strength goal differential. That's a one to start with. It's labeled in orange. Well, Winnipeg Jets, they have the best five on five team in the NHL, as you can see. First in the NHL when it comes to even strength goal differential, and then six for the Colorado Avalanche. So if the whistles get put away, look for Winnipeg to actually do some damage here. Power play percentage. Do you have a good power play in the playoffs? Well, Colorado is a top five power play, whereas Winnipeg is down in the 20s. So edge there for Colorado. We'll move the team penalties. Are you disciplined in the playoffs? That's huge, right? Well, Winnipeg seems to be the, one of the top 10 teams when it comes to discipline and team penalties, where Colorado is about middle of the league. So we're getting a little bit more of edges for the Winnipeg Jets. We move down to shot differential, which is a huge factor when it comes to the playoffs. You know, you want to create shots on net and limit the shots on net on defense. Well, Colorado does that job at being six in the NHL. They also do the job in terms of Corsi. Being six in the NHL, they're able to control the puck. That translates into the playoffs with the plays that we just showed you in the fundamental analysis as well. We will show you scoring chances. Scoring chances is labeled in orange. Well, Colorado has the edge there, but just in finishing, Winnipeg is the best finishing club in the NHL. So, 
I would say slight edge goes to Tiger. I think we were looking at all the factors that actually mean something. And it was going, you know, win, Winnipeg, Colorado, Colorado, Colorado. Until so we got to the end and then went back to Winnipeg. I'm going to still go slight edge to Colorado. Even maybe a big edge because when you're talking about the one factor that's been huge, shot differential in the playoffs, Colorado is almost a top five club. So I think another edge to Colorado for the technical analysis. Now let's look at the series betting lines, basically our betting preview. If you like the Colorado Avalanche to win this series, you can get that at minus 135 money. Whereas if you like the Winnipeg Jets to actually pull off, I would call it the upset. You would like them at plus 115 money. If you think the big series where well, Colorado is going to win the series by one and a half games, you would get plus money on that, plus 135. Whereas you like Winnipeg to cover by one and a half games, they would get minus money on minus 165. Our model has the Winnipeg Jets actually pulling off the upset four games to three. Ran the simulations 10,000 times where Winnipeg came out on top 53% of the time, where Colorado came out 47. So the model likes the Jets on the spread and the Jets on the money line. And look at this. The model last year on the money line is in red because it was getting everything correct last year. It hit on the Florida Panthers to get to the Stanley Cup. You don't think this? Go back to our videos. It was in our power ratings video last year, something at the end of the season. And that was, I believe the matchup was Florida Panthers and Seattle crack. And I could be wrong, but I know we had the Florida Panthers in the Stanley Cup. So all that to the side, thrown to the side, and us shaking our ass to the side. I like Colorado in this. I think Colorado four games to two off the top of my head. I really don't match up with the model, but the model's been more right than I have. I will say, though, I think Colorado has the experience. Hellebuck is not the same guy in the playoffs. Not to say that he's bad. He's just he's not out of this world in the playoffs. I think that's going to be the little bit of the difference, and I got Colorado. I would say four games to two. So like always, we'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you mind, if you don't mind and you like our content, please subscribe. Also hit the like button. That would be greatly appreciated. What that does is it takes our content and throws it through that YouTube algorithm so it can work its magic. And then finally, if you wouldn't mind sharing and commenting down below, that would be greatly appreciated as well. So thank you guys again, and we'll see you in the next one.